Okay, hi guys, it's Joe here from Ritual Gaming with a quick Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. The new raid is out, the AAT. It's tough. Um, our guild tried it on the top a few times, and we're now working on the normal, just getting through it. And I think I've come across a team that really does a great job. Um, and for those of you who have been watching the channel for a while won't be surprised that it is droid related. Um, you see, here's me down at 30th after throwing a few teams at phase one. And I just decided to take my arena team in, basically. It's HK-47, 86, JE, Nebit, and IG-88. Uh, they're all pretty much at max with pretty decent mods on them. You can see I've got some nice health mods here which get his speed up. Uh, 80, 86 is running uh, some crit damage with the good health. JE, speed, speed, speed. I can actually get him faster with these health mods than I can with speed mods. Nebit. Oh, sorry, the other way around. That was Nebit. And 88, he is running crit up and crit damage. But pretty simple modding, what you'd expect from these characters. And I just found that in phase two of the normal mode, it can absolutely wreck. And the tactics are pretty simple. You know, you've got to have HK lead. And that's pretty straightforward why you lead him. He is going to give turn meter every time those droids crit. Now, I actually don't do a very good job of this run. Uh, you, you'll notice the Jawas are calling in additional attacks when they uh, use their ability. So you want to make sure you're pointing at the guns when you do that so that the ability, the extra hits hit the guns and don't hit the main body. You really want to take the guns down as quickly as you can. And you can see the droids are critting like nuts all over it, hitting it real hard and can take those guns down pretty quick. Now, like I was saying at the moment, I'm re-recording this over a video I took while I was on a bus. Um, so I know for a fact that I didn't play this very well. You're going to see me make mistakes. But even so, at the end of this, you'll see I rack up a pretty good score, over 2 million. Um, and I've since gone way beyond the score that I got in this video where I kind of made a few bum choices. But essentially, yep, there you go. You get those guns down pretty quick. And then it's really just a case of unloading. Every time you roll Jay's grenades, you get extra shots every time you get you call in the assist on someone like Je or Nebit. You get another attack. That attack then, oh, I took a little screenshot there. That attack can then call in additional um, protection on whoever. If it's if you call in Nebit, you're not even sad. He doesn't do much damage, but he's going to call in protection and then call in another droid, and you're just dropping some serious damage on this uh, AAT when it's down. And you know even Nebit, you want to taunt him off so you get another attack there from 86. 86 is critting like nuts. They're just going bananas on this thing. And there's not really that much else to it. Now JE does a lot more than just get you, you up. That health is going to come in handy later as you're going to see in this video. By the time I am done with this AAT it uh, my droids are still pretty much at full health. So you've got to be careful how you manage it. That extra protection helps. Make sure you take out that top gun first because it does the most damage in my experience. And yep, you want to just be popping JE whenever you can, whenever he comes up. You want to use those Jawa's abilities. You see I go to the left gun here because I know I want to get three attacks. And that he even calls in another grenade for himself. Get those AOEs, get those AOEs off when you can. You might want to try to target the guns that have defense down, for example. Here, I'm going to take this gun out. They go for top 88s. AOE is bananas. It's just dropping damage all over the place. And you just shred these guns before they even get the chance to put off any damage. And essentially, you rinse and repeat from there. Now, in terms of choosing what uh, attacks you want to do, really it's going to vary on how the cooldowns are going on those guns. You really want to be paying attention to the cooldowns. Um, as I said, you want to hit the top first. But if you know you've got 86 coming into attack and the top gun doesn't have enough, just take a look at your turn meters of your characters. Make sure you're going to get in there before the gun does. Um, and that'll give you all that sweet, sweet 86 damage onto a gun that really needed the damage. You can finish it off with a HK-47 or even Nebit if the health is low enough or perhaps an AOE. Now for the first few attacks, you're going to find that um, your health hasn't even... You haven't even got through through your protection later on JE's abilities are going to come in they're going to become important but for now we just focus on taking those guns down you're going to and it's even a blessing in disguise when Nebit gets his uh, gets his taunt removed 
because you don't want him going down too quickly too early on. Now you can see JE is starting to take a bit of damage here and you've got all of these dots. Don't worry about them. Don't be afraid to use JE to heal when everyone's not down yet because you're going to get all those bonus attacks. Better to get that two times down, two times attack and the boost the second time around. Be careful not to waste your 86 double attacks to do more damage you need. Just take those guns down by us. The, you know, you don't want to be wasting any damage. I don't think that goes without saying. So we're going to switch across to another gun and maybe use Nebit's attack here. Yep, that's what I would have done. That's what I did then. And bam, take it out. Now I'm probably going to expend the, the double attack to get that down, but I didn't. And again, we are railing hard on this gun so you can see now that JE is uh, starting to suffer a bit he's going to be looking to heal himself as soon as possible this is a good time to use Nebit to protect him you can see I get a bit unlucky on, on JE's uh, assist there calls Nebit who doesn't really achieve all that much he gets a bit of protection onto someone which is nice but you're hoping that you get 88 or 86 called up now JE is ready to heal that's going to cause some more attacks. All of this is fun. And we are still wailing. I don't know why I didn't do the double attack there. Like I say, I actually filmed this when I'm sitting on a bus and I'm narrating over the top of it now. So forgive me if I miss a few beats. And you can see every time the gun, the AAT gets back up, my guys are pretty much at full health. Now you do need to manage Nebit's health. Be careful because in situations like this, he will get low, but you can normally pull him out of the fire. And because you're doing so much damage, you can often just wait until you get a um, enough assist attacks that JE goes back up. So we will continue on wailing on this poor AAT. He doesn't know what's what's coming, and we're just going to sit back and enjoy the destruction for a little bit. You can see there, get a little unlucky on the um, the assists there, where it called in JE and then Nebit as JE's assist. That's kind of the worst possible scenario. That's why I think this particular run, I think it comes out at around 2.2 million. It's actually a little bit less. This is probably what I would consider a fairly bad run. I've since hit uh, 2.8, 2.9 million with the same team, same situation, no different mods, just better RNG. So it's a pretty big difference of uh, seven, six to seven hundred K. And another thing I can say is that this is definitely something that can be run on uh, tier seven. I tried it out and it hit tier seven phase two for around 690 K, which is comparable, if not a little higher than many of the weeks teams, the uh, danger zone, the wedge bigs uh, combinations, which are favored for that phase at the moment. That's a nice assist for all three of the droids. But this definitely can pull its weight. It's nice to see that the droids can do some damage in this raid after being pretty much dead ducks in the um, in the Rancor pit raid. So I don't quite have my Wiggs team ready and the Lando team doesn't do quite as much damage as that Wiggs team actually. What am I saying? It doesn't do anywhere near. Wedge is the man. Now goes the AAT again. And again, we'll just sit back and just look how these attacks pan out. Now it's about this point that I realized I'd forgotten something quite important. And that is that at a later stage in the fight, the AAT will enrage. It won't actually show any visible signs that it's enraged, but it will just come out and attack you with a crazy all out attack. You see JE there pulling up with that heal again. Just pop it whenever you can, to be honest. You're gonna need it. And as soon as you pop it, that cooldown can refresh again and start going. Nebit, of course, will help that cooldown go down here. Save a turn. And even if it means drawing some of the ire of the AAT onto himself, it doesn't matter because it's brought JE up. So JE pretty much the attack after next will have his uh, will have his heal back up. 
And so the cycle of destruction continues. And honestly, the only thing that stops this team from going on and soloing the whole thing is the fact that the AAT enrages in a way in which the Rancor does not. So you can see only one, one turn left. We can get that heal back up again. Take out the left turret. Take out the right turret. Repeat. Nice assist there on 86. And that poor AAT is down again. Time for a heal. Or did I? Yes, I did. And you can really see why I say HK lead is absolutely crucial here. That 50% turn meter every time, plus the JE extra attacks, just means you get a train rolling on this guy. Now, one thing I do want to experiment with in the future is um, backing out before it enrages, making sure that I get out of there before he kills my whole droid team. Now, you're probably going to get about a 50% chance that you fail that. Well, it's more than a 50% chance. You're going to fail and fail and fail again. And it might be a tactic, if I have ever have the time to uh, bother with that, worth trying out. So I do believe this is the last time we managed to take it down. Never gets really close to the end there. Jay's at hand to help out his Jawa buddy. You can see I forgot to target, made a bit of a mistake there, forgot to target the top gun. Never know mind, we still take it out. If I'm honest, I probably was rushing to get off of my public transport at this point and <laughs> was starting to play a bit recklessly. Tempted to just hit auto. After this enrage, after this um, time through dropping the AAT, I do believe he enrages, and you're going to see what's going to happen because I had no clue that this could happen at the time. I'm working on my tactics to uh, try to avoid it and see if I can drag any of the droids out for a second run. Even if you get a, get a couple of them out, it'd be pretty good. But then, bam, everyone goes down. HA47 holds on for dear life, but it wasn't to be. He's out of the game. You can see we scored a pretty nice little score here, 2.2. And as I said, I'll pop up a little screenshot here. Um, you can't get much more than that. And I'll show you that in tier seven heroic raid, you can also get quite the little score. So that's it guys. Um, you see me, shot me straight up to the top of the leaderboards, which was pleasant and the droids. They kick the butt off of phase two of this raid. Anyway, enjoy, and I'll be back on Wednesday with the regular feed.